Alright, welcome back to Spore, and we are right now in uh, the transitional creature creator uh, that will be our first foray onto dry land. Okay, it's giving us a much reduced set of options at this point. Uh, we can do legs, or we can add cell parts to our creature. Uh, we're actually going to be able to do a lot more than that fairly soon, so I'm not going to get too in-depth uh, until uh, until then, but I will show off a few things you can do with the Creature Creator uh, that are pretty neat. Um, you can, uh, uh, you know, rotate your parts, uh, or you can extend or shrink the length of your creature, um, and then you can move things around change their size, make them big or small, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, you know, add or remove body parts. Um, let's see, we're, uh, each body part has different advantages, uh, like these tusks here uh, give us a strike uh, or charge ability. Uh, mouth gives us the ability to bite and sing. Uh, and then the poison gets us a ch ability to spit. Um, let's see. What does jet do for you? Uh, it gives you a sprinting ability in the second stage. Now, what I like to do when I play by myself is uh, come up with a sort of plausible evolution for my creature. Like, just make incremental changes. Uh, you don't actually have to. There's nothing in the gameplay mechanics uh, that require it, but it's something that I find amusing. Like, the spiked skewer squids, uh, rear spines evolved into legs over time, but not actually at all necessary. Uh, We'll go four-legged, because four-legged creatures are more creaturey. <laughs> okay, and charge is kind of useless. Okay. Um, let's see. These eyes on the top of the head are going to have to change, uh, but for now it's fine. All right. Let's rename our creature. The um, uh, green... Landfish. A semi aquatic uh, amphibian with a voracious appetite. That is what I consider this creature to be. All right. So, on to land we go. Up it swims. And now this is going to load. So, I'll pause until... Thing. Well, no, I guess... Um, yeah, I'll pause until, until it loads properly. Okay, and now we've got the transition cinematic. Our creatures emerging from the depths, and you can see the ocean is red now, which is, you know, what I chose initially. The land has got this tealish tint uh, as you go farther in, um, but our creatures are emerging onto uh, dry land as a new age dawns. Okay, so let's look around. You can see the sky, uh, these plants, um, those orange little fruits there were something that we could eat if we were herbivores or omnivores, but we're not. So we gotta uh, feast on meat. Okay, and see this little card popped up? Um, that gives a description of the creature's... Um, various stats. It's uh, ability in combat and it's uh, ability socially. Alright, so let's move on to our next door neighbors. 
uh, the alpha Turek, so I, the Turex. And uh, we're going to be friendly initially just to show. Okay. See, uh, Turek has got uh, one combat ability. And, uh, well, you know what? I don't know how to bring it up. Okay. We're going to befriend a Turek. But we're going to befriend the Alpha Turek, uh, the leader of the pack. Uh, this is just to show uh, what you can do. All right, so befriending things is simple. You just got to do back to them what they do to you. And at the beginning, it's really simple because all you can do is sing. Um, let's see here. Um, all right. And then if I managed to befriend two more of these, we would become allies, but I'm not going to. Instead, uh, I'm going to pick up this thing here, and it's going to be an extra body part. A Boljo. Okay. Now, the reason I befriended the Alpha was because befriending or hunting Alphas gives you extra body parts. And that is why I am not going to befriend any of these other guys, because they are useless to me. Alright. Uh, moving on, let's try and hunt something. Oh, another body part. So, the creature stage is as in-depth as you want it to be. Um, you can rush through by killing or befriending, or you can explore. And exploring is a lot of fun because uh, a lot of the creatures you meet um, is, are generated by people on the internet. Like, these are called humans for some reason, uh, not at all human-like, and somebody on the internet uh, uh, created them. So I'm going to try and kill this alpha human. And I can do two things. I can spit, and I can bite. Uh, let's see. And then I can retreat, because I am almost dead. See, and that's why I find playing the carnivore trickier, because you heal by eating, but you can only eat meat, which means that you've got to win a fight. Uh, okay, you can also heal by returning to your nest, which is important because uh, they will wreck your, your day if you don't heal. Okay. So, I'm going to go eat a hu human. Uh, and generally, having more uh, combat abilities is your best bet, because uh, you will have more that you can do in combat. Um, like, See, you've got four different potential abilities, Bite and Spit, but then also Charge and Strike. And then whenever you use one, let's see, let's attack another human. Uh, there's a bit of a cooldown period before you can use it again. So, if you've got four, you can attack more or less constantly. If you've got two, you've got to wait. And of course, if you only got one, uh, you've got to wait longer than even that. Okay, so I hunted a second human, these gray, stripy, quadrupedal uh, humans, and I'm going to hunt a third to get a DNA bonus. Uh, you know, it's a straightforward fight. I can't use my spitting because we're too close at the moment. Uh, spitting is a ranged attack. Um, 
Although I found that this game is a little finicky about range. Like sometimes you can use your spit in hand-to-hand -hand combat, presumably because the range it's checking is a little larger than uh, the minimum to spit, but a little smaller than the maximum uh, to strike. Um, which kind of makes planning your attacks a little difficult, but I just go with whatever it allows me to do. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to befriend uh, these other creatures, because why not? I'm not hungry at the moment, and so I'm not arbitrarily cruel. But I want to look for the alpha. The alpha flan. Flan. There we go. Mimi96 created the flan. Uh, and we sing to it. And get its body part. The something I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Now you tend to find more loose body parts around the lairs of omnivores and carnivores. Uh, draw from that what conclusions you may. Uh, Alright, so we can navigate by our mini-map here, and the green question marks are species we have not encountered yet. Um, there are also icons for species we have encountered, uh, like there is the flan there, and then species we've extincted. Humans shall not inhabit no place. Although, maybe we'll wind up looking human-like, or maybe we won't. Right now, we're just a chubby little quadruped who goes from place to place, uh, praying or befriending at uh, a whim. Okay, so now something that is not at all going to be relevant until much later in the game is that these plants are actually a unique species. Like, there are planets that do not have them. Oh, okay. We've just encountered Mario, and uh, uh, apparently this game has a large uh, Russian or Slavic uh, constituency because you will see uh, Cyrillic uh, creatures from time to time. So Mario we are going to befriend because his combat ability is 3, and ours at the moment is 2. And that is how you get... Oh, we are not charming enough to persuade Mario to be our friend. Let's try it one more time, see if maybe our timing was off. Yep. And we've got an antler, which is not actually an antler, it's just a cosmetic thing. All right. So, uh, the fun part of the creature stage is exploring, discovering new body parts, and generally just looking around. Oh, we got a new mouth that is much more powerful than our current mouth. We'll have to, to equip that when we next mate. Okay, so as I was saying, these plants, uh, each planet has unique flora. Um, like, if we were to start a new world, uh, these big trees would be completely different, as would these flowers and these middle-sized uh, plants. Uh, that's an important gameplay mechanic in the space stage, but for now, it's not really that relevant. Okay, I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to have to eat something. This orange bar here is your hunger. Uh, once you get uh, down to the minimum, hunger, you start losing health, but that's not something we want to do. Okay, a biddle. Uh, ye uh, let's see. Okay, it's about our uh, skill in combat, so we're just going to go for it. Uh, spit, and then let it charge us. 